Today I'm doing some testing on a 2006 Toyota Prius. And what I found is that uh, when this Prius is running with the fog lights on, for some reason it's using a lot of power, meaning um, I was only getting about 36 miles to the gallon. And with the headlights off, the fog lights off and the climate control off, I'm now getting 49 miles to the gallon. And I was getting about 46 after doing that, but I started driving more conservatively. But 10 miles per gallon is a pretty big deal. So what I did to see what was going on, um, I tried to look for some information on this, but I hadn't seen any. Uh, I know a lot of people do hypermiling. Hopefully you can see this. Um, right here is the fog lights. It's um, position number 21, I believe. It's a 15 amp fuse. And then up here, um, I have the um, upgraded headlights. I guess they're the DRLs. Not, or not daytime running lights, but um, I don't know what they're called. They're like the halogen ones. They're these um, position uh, six and seven right here. And they're also 15 amp fuse. I just wanted to see how many amps they drew. So um, on my fluke meter here, um, the reason I had a separate meter is normally this meter on the fluke is here if I'm doing um, amp, uh, AC volts or DC volts. But since I'm doing amp draw, this red lead has to actually go over here. And I was just using this other meter on a uh, continuity test to verify that these were had continuity because I hadn't done this before on DC but when I'm when I'm in this position, there is no continuity between these two. I was getting a reading, but it didn't make sense. Uh, but in this position, I'm I'm getting continuity, which means that the voltage between um, my 12 volts and the light is going through this meter, which will read the amp draw. Hope that makes sense. So what what I'm doing to test this is I'm taking my red lead and going to the uh, positive terminal on the battery right here. This actually goes right to the 12 volt battery in the back of the car. And then I'm taking my black lead and I'm going to the right position on the fuse. So on the fuses, these are these real small fuses. On this Prius or Toyota, there is a, a dimple right here where you can actually test it. And my left side is the power and my right side is the load. So what I'm doing is going from my test lead to the 12 volt terminal here to the right side, which is my um, load, which would be the actual load from the device. And I was just checking to make sure I didn't have some kind of short, but, um, the Prius has to have a, a an alternator or generator. I know the engine is a generator, but something to charge the small 12 volt battery because I started to wonder if the hybrid battery was actually operating the headlights. So let me turn on the headlights real quick and the fog lights. So the headlights and the fog lights are both on right now, but you won't see them on. And so what I'm gonna do, there's a right and left side for these fuses. Hopefully you can see the meter. Let's see, yeah, I think you can see the screen on there. And what I'm gonna do is put the red terminal on the 12 volt connector and the black terminal I'm going to put on the right position of the headlight. Okay, that's the, the passenger side. Here's the driver's side. So I'm getting um, about eight amps. It drops down and goes up a little bit, but I'm getting right about eight amps. Um, now I'm gonna go to the fog light position, which you might not be able to see, it's, it's pretty low on the car. 
This will turn on both fog lights. Both fog lights are on right now. I'm getting about 7.3 amps. And again, these are 15 amp fuses, so they look good, 7.3. I'm gonna go to the um, passenger side position. And it looks like about the same as the driver's side. So those all look good. So those are pull, all pulling amp draw. Um, and it doesn't look anything out of range, but what I'm wondering is why I'm getting such better gas mileage because I'm not using these functions. It's uh, surprising to me. Um, again, here's the, this is the driver's side, 7.9 amps. This is the passenger side, again, 7.9 amps. And then here is the fog lights, about 7.2 amps. The fog lights don't make any noise. The um, headlights make some noise because it's a driver that actually operates them. So I don't know, let me know if uh, anybody else out there has run into this issue where when they turn off their climate control, and they turn off their uh, daytime running, or not daytime running lights, but their headlights and their fog lights. Actually, it's mostly my fog lights, which are surprising. These, these fog lights are just standard uh, lights. They're not any LED or anything. Let me uh, see if you can see those here. Okay, they're on right now. Hopefully you can see that. 7.2 and again here's the driver's side and the passenger side so that could be a test that other people could do um, and when I turn that off there's no draw um, they're not pulling anything when I go back and turn off these headlights I don't have the key in or anything um, the headlights will work for a little while before they just shut off but they're definitely this this position right here goes directly to your battery. You can actually jump start the battery from, from this post right here. If you didn't want to go into the back, I don't know why it doesn't want to open. But anyways, this opens up. There's a little screw right here. It's just being uh, angry right now. Let's see. So there's a post right here. That terminal is what you would use to jumpstart this car without having to open the whole trunk. This is the 12 volt battery in the very back, uh, passenger side behind the wheel well. And this goes directly to that. That's operating all this. So the engine, what was happening was my engine was running all the time, whether I was at a stoplight, I would just be sitting in traffic. The engine would just sit there and run. And I couldn't understand why. And a couple people kept saying, I thought this was a hybrid. Why is your car running? I'm just putting these fuses back. And I didn't have an answer for them. But I always drove with the headlights on and the fog lights on and my climate control on, just on auto. And which runs your air conditioner, which is probably a huge draw because it's also an electric motor on the Prius. The air conditioner is an electric motor. So when that was going on, I thought, that is strange. I never really noticed it. So I started driving without all those things on. And now I'm getting 10 miles per gallon better. Whoops, driving the exact same way. Um, and then as I like started kind of hypermiling, which is like, you know, coasting the lights and not hitting the gas so hard. I'm just gonna test these, make sure everything comes on now. Okay, so everything's back working. I'm gonna put this back together. So if you're not aware, you do have two batteries in a Prius. You have your 12 volt battery in the very back, um, uh, right past your side, it would be rear. And then you have a hybrid battery that's right underneath the rear seat, um, actually right behind the rear seat. And that, that operates your, you know, um, helps you propel your engine. But somewhere in this vehicle, there's got to be a generator. So if someone knows where that is or alternator, 
let me know because I'm guessing that when I'm running those systems, they're draining that 12 volt battery and the 12 volt battery has to recharge. So it, it's recharging. So I'll show you that real quick. All right, I'm inside the car now. I'm just gonna turn it on. Now I just filled it up with gas. So the, um, everything kind of reset, but I'm at 49.1, but it only says one mile I went. It was at 49.0. And then when I filled up with fuel, it reset the mileage. Now you just heard the engine came on. This, this Prius is a little loud because my muffler's no good. This car has um, 214,000 miles on it and um, used to burn a lot of oil. But right now we're generating power to the hybrid battery. Um, there's a way to enter the system to see the 12 volt battery, but right now it's running the motor to run the hybrid battery. And I just wanna show you something right now. The reason it's running is because I just turned the vehicle on and let me open my garage door. I don't kill myself. Um, anyways, so when the, when you first start the vehicle in a cold position, it, it's going to run just to get the engine to operating temperature. So this will do this for a few minutes and then it will shut off. So we're about 64 degrees in my garage. It's about 37 degrees outside. Um, I'm just gonna wait. I apologize for the long video, but I'm just gonna wait. I wanna do this in real time. So right now, like I said, the engine's running to charge the hybrid battery and that will take a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is um, show you that it's going to shut off and then I'm gonna turn on the headlights. Not turn on the fog lights, but turn on the headlights. And like I said, the climate control, this is all off. I leave all this off um, and I leave off the headlights and the fog lights, but I, I have turned on the headlights at night and it still works good. It's just the fog lights really cause the issue. They're, the hybrid engine just turned off. So everything's off right now. Um, nothing's running. I'm going to turn on the headlights without the fog lights. You can hear the humming. Not doing anything. I'm gonna shut the headlights back off. Headlights are back off. Um, I'm gonna turn on the, I have to turn on the headlights with the fog lights because they operate together. I haven't done any kind of bypass. So now the fog lights are on and the headlights are on. So I just wanna see if um, this bar drops here at all. Um, nothing's changed. So let me turn on the climate control. I'm um, just gonna turn on. Oh, okay, as soon as I turned on that climate control, my engine came on. Hopefully you heard that. Engine is on um, doing the hybrid battery. I'm gonna turn back off my headlights, which will turn off my fog lights. Um, go to climate control. You can see my AC button's not on, although I am using the defroster, which will run the air conditioner. In case you're not aware, when you're using your defroster, um, that's the front defroster, it will turn on your air conditioner. So let me turn that off and go to this. So now it shouldn't be running the air conditioner at all, but I'm still running the hybrid engine. and it's still charging the hybrid battery. So this could be a culprit too. I don't know, see what works for you, but I'm gonna turn this back off. And immediately when I turn this off, the system, whoops, sorry about that. It turned off the engine. So let me go back to climate, put it back on. Immediately, the engine turned back on. Now, what's strange, it's not showing it's charging anything right now. So this is a little strange if you've run into this, but this is what my car would do all the time. It would just sit here and run. Turn this back off, engine shuts off. Now I'm not using any of the air conditioning functions. They're all off. I'm just using um, the function to blow air out the middle vents and the, the feet vents. Um, turn it back on low, engine comes on, turn it off. So. 
it may just be this climate control. Turning this off may have helped me with the, the fuel economy. So see what works for you. I, I'm doing this test in real time because I kind of want to show everyone um, if they've had this similar issue with their second generation Prius and let me know how it works out. Hopefully you can get great gas mileage like this again. This, this car used to get 52, 54. I did switch to Michelin tires, which are a much smoother ride. The problem is you lose about five miles to the gallon with them, but they have way better traction. And uh, let me know if this helps you or uh, explains anything to you and hopefully you can get better gas mileage on your Prius. Thank you.